Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with you. you. We will begin with hymn 206. We'll sing all three verses. Let us live holy and godly lives, 
as we look forward to the day of the Lord and see his coming. That day will cause the heavens to be set on fire and destroyed, and the elements to melt as they burn with great heat. But according to his promise, we look forward to new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, dear friends, as you look forward to these things, make every effort to be found in peace, spotless and blameless in his sight. Let us know that the patience of the Lord leads to salvation. Be on your guard so that you do not fall from your own firm position by being led astray through the error of the wicked. Let us grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now and forever. Amen. In our reading today, we have the words of Jesus talking to his disciples about the end of the world and his return. We read from Mark 13, verse 24 to 31. But in those days following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, men will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. We continue with the seasonal song. <laughs> Try again to direct you into the entrances of, of the song. Please sing along.
I invite you to lift up your hearts to God and pray with me the Lord's Prayer, as Christ our Lord taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Here we pray that God our Father in heaven would look with mercy on all his children on earth. We ask him to give us grace that we might proclaim his word faithfully and live our lives according to his will. For then we show that his name is precious to us. Your kingdom come. We pray that his kingdom and the rule of his grace might come to us and grow in us each day. That all who are still captives in Satan's kingdom might be brought to know Jesus Christ, his son. So that the Christian church might grow and prosper. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. We pray that the Holy Spirit would strengthen us to do and accept God's will in life and death, in good times and in bad, and that we might have power to put down our own sinful will and its desires. Give us today our daily bread. We pray that our Father would also give us our daily bread, preserve us from greed and selfish desires, and help us to trust that He will provide for all our needs. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. We ask that God would forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, so that our hearts may rest and rejoice in a good conscience before Him, and that no sin may ever frighten or alarm us. Lead us not into temptation. We pray here that God would protect us from all temptations and help us by His Spirit to put down our sinful flesh, to despise the world and its vices, and to overcome the devil and all his trickery. But deliver us from evil. And finally, we pray that God would deliver us from all evils in body and soul, now and forever. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. All those who sincerely desire these things will say from their hearts, Amen. Trusting without doubt that their prayers are answered in heaven, as Christ has promised. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it will be yours. Amen. Amen. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. We have an announcement by somebody. Emily Cash, can you come down here? So we have two really special things to celebrate. You can stand by me. I know it's scary. There you go. We have two really special things to celebrate with Emily. Um, the first is last week at UW Parkside they had an art show, and Emily received best 2D, so two-dimensional artwork in the show. the privilege to go to the consulate of Mexico in Milwaukee and spend the evening there and uh, I came back with something for Emily. Uh, this is the 2019 Hispanic Heritage Month Drawing Contest awarded to Emily Paschke November 2019. First place category 9th through 12th grade with the title of Las Fiestas. She tied with a uh, uh, student from Wisconsin Lutheran High School for first place. So even more exciting than that, um, the first place prize for this uh, contest is what I'm going to present with her today. And as I present this to her, it's a brand new laptop computer. <laughs> 